Hello Gemini and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. Welcome to your weekly reading and happy 2023. So hopefully it's been a good start to the year so far for you. Let's see what is coming in story for the week. Five of Wands, a little bit of conflict or a test of some sort, a battle of some sort that's coming through with the Five of Wands. Let's see what the story is, what's, what else is coming in around it for you, Gemini. Okay, so we've got, yeah, around something from the past with the Six of Cups, perhaps revisiting an old memory has been challenging as well. We've got the Page of Pentacles, interesting. There's new things developing here. Page of Wands, getting excited about new things. And the Nine of Pentacles, okay, but kind of wanting to go out on your own with this. We've got the Four of Swords. So this is, I love the Four of Swords. It really it really is a real Gemini energy for me because it's a, the storyteller. It's going deep, having a big think about something and, and going over the, what somebody said or the stories and reworking it, reworking the narrative, and it can represent mindset shifts as well. So I feel like potentially a relationship or an energy from the past that's been challenging for you in some way, shape or form or been some kind of a test, there's potentially a mindset shift that can come in around that or an opportunity to, uh, opportunity to rework the narrative narrative to tell the story differently to rework okay well that might have been what happened in the past but now I'm here in this present how am I going to write my future what's the future narrative what's the how's this all going to end and so that's what the page of pentacles and the page of wands are doing taking it and going okay this is new, this is fresh, this wants to bring in new growth, this energy, and it really, you know, this is grabbing the story and saying, let's bring it in, let's bring it into my life, let's bring it into the future. So let's see what we can develop and work with this. And the, the wands energy is looking for more growth. It's about your motivation, your spark, your fire, uh, what it is that you want to do. But the pentacle energy is good as well because it's kind of saying, you know, it's not just an idea. It's not just a, I would like to do that one day or I want to do that. It's like, let's see if we can actually make this happen. So it could be very inspired energy, very enthusiastic, very optimistic. You know, it's looking towards the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles is freedom of spirit. It's very independent energy. It's kind of doing something on your own, on your own terms. It's freedom in uh, on the material realm as well so maybe part of it is related to financial freedom or just feeling um, this sense of wanting to bring more in on the material realm maybe it's more luxury or maybe it's more just something that you need physically um, so that could be coming through but I really feel like this is you you know you're freeing yourself from some old energies some past energies and putting yourself center stage in the story you're the main character you're the protagonist here and so this is is all about you and what's going on in your life and your world so what is it that you need so yeah rewriting the story quite literally so let's see what else is coming through for you Gemini what else is coming through for Gemini let's see what else is coming through for Gemini Oh, we've got the chariot. I like it. Okay, beautiful. I love this rhinoceros. One step at a time, moving onwards and upwards here. Discipline and determination. So yeah, you've got the idea, you've reworked the narrative, you've got the story in your head about how you want it to go. Now it's a matter of putting it into action one step at a time. Discipline and determination is coming through with this to make this happen. So that's a fantastic energy as well. And, you know, it feels strong. Rhinoceros is a, string, a strong string, strong energies. I'm reading this. I'm willing to change. I'm willing to release old negative beliefs. This is your affirmation card. Sorry, croaky old throat. Just needed to get some water, Gemini. Interesting. It could be connected to the, with this four of swords, the throat chakra, which is the chakra related to communication, speaking, singing, all of that sort of stuff. So perhaps there's something that you need to express here. 
Um, but yeah, I'm willing to release old negative beliefs. I feel like that is part of what this character's doing in the Four of Swords. They're putting aside the wounds there. The three swords have been put up on the wall and taking a break from that and really going, okay, I'm willing to put that aside, anything that's been hurting me, anything that's old from the past that's been a bit of a challenge and a battle, and I'm moving forward. The only thoughts that stand in my way. My new thoughts are positive and fulfilling. So it really is about being aware of what you're thinking and how you're thinking and, and again, that narrative that's going on inside your mind because you can make some really positive uh, steps forward here um, and get excited about something new and fresh that's uh, – fresh energies and motivations and things that are developing here for you. So let's see, you're freeing yourself of that past memory or that past energy uh, by doing this. So let's see, we've got dolphin. I love it as your animal spirit energy. Okay, this is such a beautiful energy of connecting to joy. It's an element of water, playfulness, bliss, fun, the dolphin energy, you find the thing that brings you joy. That's what the Page of Pentacles, the Page of Wands, this is new fresh energy wanting to come in. Where is your joy? Follow your path of bliss and joy. And that is part of the energy that's going to help guide you along this ascension journey of the chariot of this beautiful rhinoceros <laughs> moving onwards and upwards. So even though it is going to require a little bit of determination and discipline, yeah, that is putting in a bit more of the hard work with it. It's saying to, you know, if it's something that brings you joy in the first place it's not going to feel as hard <laughs> so do something that makes you happy here with the dolphin card beautiful so that's actually it that's your reading for the week Gemini I feel like there's exciting new developments coming in and um, yeah that's it so please like subscribe share leave a comment and look forward to seeing you next time